What's up everybody? Welcome back. Oh man, it zoomed up. Welcome back to another video. Today we are finally going to finish the Big Break Kit install after such a long time because Terox has finally sent me the US spec brake lines that I needed to finish the front. Not only did they do that, they sent me another box. So let's go ahead and open it and check it out. Whoa. They sent me rear rotors in the F2000 style. These are not two piece rotors, but I'm gonna be able to replace the rotors in the rear to match the design in the front end. I'm just so blessed to have them back me this year. I've never seen, you know, I, 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 I've seen the drill and slotted, but I've never seen the spiral design and it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna start off on the driver's side. I haven't torqued down any of the bolts when I first did this install. So today we're definitely gonna torque down all the bolts. Uh, right here you see a little white wire dangling. These are the pad sensors, the brake wear sensors. Uh, and I deleted them from the rear and they don't fit on these brake pads either. So I'm just gonna completely remove it from the system. And all you have to do is if you follow this here, you're gonna see that the brake pad module is hidden behind this box. Easy enough got the brake pad sensor removed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start today off with installing the new rear rotors first, since that'll be easy. Yep, now we're almost done. Next, you're just gonna remove this Allen, just like this other side, and the rotor should come right off. All right, so we got both rotors here. Let's get it out of the sun. We got the F2000 Terox rotor. We got the stock rotor. And stock rotor honestly feels pretty light, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and this one feels heavier for sure. So I think there is gonna be some weight gain with this rotor. 18 pounds, 2.7 ounces. Again. 20 pounds, 11 ounces. So definitely heavier. Damn, that looks good. Dude, that looks so good. You can't imagine what it's gonna look like when we get the when we get the big brake upgrade. Woo! Terox, if you're watching this, Terox or Tar Ox. I don't know, but either way, I love y'all. Alright, next. Terox sends us brake pads for the rear. I'm not sure if these are their street or track or hybrid pads. Either way, we're gonna run them anyways. All right, struggled a little bit, but I got all of it on. I just wanna preface again, and a lot, a lot of people believe me, when I say the Supra is easy to work on. I've done all the modification myself, but I am not a mechanic savvy person. And I literally aren't, I'm, I'm literally not. I'm just learning as I go. So I was having trouble mounting the brake pads on correctly. And after a little bit of research, I learned that I did it wrong when I had the ME20 brakes on. If you can see my pads, actually, my rotors and pads when I had them on wore unevenly. And uh, yeah. I learned very quickly that I had them put on the wrong way. So these are the ME20 endless brake pads. You can see the piston print in the front. So that one obviously I had in the inside. Here's my OEM ones. I had my OEM ones here. And you can see that this one had the brake pads in the inside. You guys can see that it's two completely different grooves. Here, let me see. Whereas, where's my other? This one is the one, the endless pad, that should have been in the inside. <laughs> you see? But piston mark, 
piston mark, and this one should have been inside, which is why everything wore unevenly. But now I have it done correctly. And there you go. Today you guys learned from my mistake. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to bleed the brakes. It's actually Jimmy's and some of our friends birthday celebration today. So I gotta wrap this up. And what we're gonna do right now, I went ahead and took off everything for the front and we're gonna torque down everything and tighten it up. So we got the, the bracket, to the oleum bracket, and then we got the caliper to the mounting bracket. And then everything else, I can nugget nugget. Jimmy just showed up. Wow, so cool. How's the JQ work steering wheel, sir? Very nice. <laughs> Very... You know what the one thing is? Huh? See the carbon fiber paddles? Here, let me, let me show the world. <laughs> there you go. You see this plus sign right there? The negative right over there? It switched the wrong way. Come on now. Just saying. What are you laughing at? Are you almost done? Almost. All right. You were supposed to edit the video first, I was hoping. We switched that as a prank on purpose, and we told you the video editing. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can, when you edit the video, you're like, what the fuck? We were hoping you were noticing. Oh, I noticed it. <laughs> it's easy. Once you pull off the wheel, you can just yeah. easily I might even switch the wheel today just for fun and see. Yeah. So wow. Holy guacamole. That is so beautiful. Wow. One eternity later. All right, guys, I'm not even going to front. It's been a week, another week, and my car is still up on jack stands. We got film in the background. Don't know if you guys can see that. But me and Aaron tried to do the old school two man brake pedal bleed. That didn't work. So I ended up ordering this Motive Power Bleeder, which I've heard great things and it makes it super simple. Hopefully this fixes it. I'm not even gonna record this. I'm just gonna focus on trying to bleed my brakes. And if it works, maybe I'll make a video about how to show it, but. <laughs> this guy right here is my hero, y'all. What time is it right now? He came over to help bleed my brakes. <laughs> I get to drive my car tomorrow. <laughs> oh man! We Check them out, y'all. PNW race. Oh my god! I am so happy to announce that the brakes are finally done. Oh my god! That was one of the longest installs ever. My car's been on jack stand for five weeks, and granted, three of those weeks we're waiting for the new brake lines to come in, but we got it. So I just test fitted the wheels. Again, it clears. I got to put back on the fender liners. And then I'm gonna drop the car and drive and test out the brakes. Now, one thing, I'm probably gonna do a whole review on this brake system in another video because this one's just way too long. As you guys can see, the weather outside is nasty. It's been raining on and off and I don't wanna bed my brakes with a wet surface uh, because it's not safe, but I am gonna go ahead and put the car and drive it around my neighborhood for now and then I think in two days, it's supposed to stop raining. I'll bed the brakes in, and then I can give you guys a full-on review of these Terox brakes, but holy crap, just take a look at this. Like the clearance on this thing, it fits the wheel. So I'm mainly excited about just dropping the car and seeing it on the ground. It is gonna be so good today. Oh, holy moly, holy moly, dude, that looks so freaking insane, oh my gosh, dude, the super looks so good, I haven't seen it out of the ground in so long, what the fuck? Oh my gosh! Fire department came. Too much heat in my garage right now. Too much freaking heat in my garage. What the heck? This is not even right. This is too big. Holy moly. Y'all. What the fuck? 
Dude, shout out to Terox. This thing is insane. What the? The roads are wet outside, so I'm not gonna bed in the brakes today. But I definitely just wanna see how the brake pedal feels. It feels really good when the car's off. When I turn it on, it feels a little soft initially, but it does stop safe enough to drive so I do want to drive it around a little bit and see if the brake pedal like if I got to break it in or something or it's gonna feel better over time a couple things I'm wondering if my master cylinder is big enough for the eight pistons in the front maybe that's why it just feels like the travel is a little bit longer with the brake pedal uh, I'm hoping that I that it feels better over time I'm probably gonna drive the car for a little bit not today but you know throughout the week probably put some miles on it and then bleed the brakes and see if there's any extra air that I need to capture but the travel does feel a little bit longer I don't remember what the stock pedal feels like again I'm not a mechanic or a professional by any means so yeah this might turn out bad or it might turn out good noises that the uh the caliper is not rubbing it against the barrel or anything guys holy crap five weeks later the break saga has ended and if only the weather was nicer to go on a nice long ride where i can bed in the brakes and enjoy the car oh my god i'm looking at this right now guys it looks absolutely insane check out the car <laughs> holy moly dude I cannot get over these brakes. They are absolutely beautiful. No weird noises. They felt actually really good. Ooh. But definitely got to bed these brakes in. Wow. Look at the clearance. I don't know why, but the <laughs> the wheel weights always end up right next to right next to my car. But you guys see that clearance? That is insane. Like, did Terox do that on purpose? Because that fitment is absolutely perfect. Oh, the reflection of the green looks weird on the car, but... Let's see. Oh, there you go. Whew. Look at that. Holy moly, guys. 
I missed driving this freaking car. And people be hating on the Boltec Swan, Swan Neck Wing. Oh my God, that is beautiful. I need to put a new Voltex sticker on. Cause you know, it ain't real Voltex without a Voltex sticker. But jeez, guys. I don't know how y'all be hating on this. This is absolutely beautiful. This deserves a full on review video of itself. I can't believe after modifying the Supra for so long that I'm able to secure partners like this that are willing to work with me and allowing me to help them R&D this stuff. I could have never imagined this much love and support from companies and from you guys. But I'm super excited. Five weeks on the jack stands, no more. But yeah, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. It has been a very long saga and it's finally been put to rest. And now we can start on the other mods on the Supra. Super excited to show you guys what I got coming next. If you made it this far, thank you so much for the support. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all.